Hey guys, I had requests to make a minimalist, non-toxic baby registry video, which I thought was a really awesome idea and I'm really excited to share these things with you guys. I've talked about a lot of these products um, in the past, so I'll link a bunch of videos below of things that will go into more detail on specific products if you're interested. But um, these are the things that I think that are very helpful to have with the baby while also really keeping um, the environment in mind and just keeping it minimal but keeping it really comfortable and easy to um, raise that baby. So I have a two-year-old, just turned two-year-old and about to turn five-year-old. So um, we're kind of out of the baby phase, but we're still, you. I mean, I don't have any like baby stuff because we've passed it along, but I still have a ton of these products. So they're things that last for a really long time, but you also need during that like first year and beyond, which I think is appropriate to put on a registry like anything in that first year. So I'm just going to start with like eating type things because there's a lot of it and I can shove it out of my way here. One thing um, is I'm just assuming if you're watching this, then you're probably, this is an assumption, but I'm assuming you're breastfeeding. I'm assuming you're into like natural parenting. I'm assuming you're into organic and minimalist because that's what this is about. So <laughs> I'm just making assumptions. So the first is breastfeeding. Um, I really recommend the Lansano manual breast pump. I think it's amazing. Even if you plan on exclusively breastfeeding, it's still good for engorgement or if you want to like have a little supply built up just in case. Um, I store, store well, I still breastfeeding, but I don't need to store milk anymore. But um, I used four ounce mason jars with the plastic BPA free lids. The other metal ones have BPA to store breast milk in. And then um, if they do take a bottle, I need a larger size and you could get the six inch, inch as well. I use these all the time still for a bunch of other things. For um, a bottle, I really recommend the Life Factory brand. It's made in the USA. It's all glass. Um, you can buy a sippy lid separately, so then um, when they're done with the bottle, they can have a sippy cup. So I think you could really seriously get by with one and wash it every time. If you wanted to have two, that'd be cool too. You need a bottle brush um, to wash said bottle sippy cup. This is a Boone silicone one. I really like that it's silicone because it's a more eco-friendly material and it's really durable and lasts and can be um, cleaned versus like a traditional bottle brush. This particular one is a little wide for bottles. It kind of comes down when you try to wash, but um, I would recommend a silicone one. As far as once they're eating solids, then you're going to need a spoon and a fork. One is fine of each. Um, if you're going to make purees, then having a good glass blender is important and you can store purees in here. I did that with my first, with my second, we did baby lead weaning so I didn't need to make baby food. Um, you need a bib, one's been fine for us. Um, the bumpkins, or the, sorry, we have a bumpkins, but that's made in China. So the bum, the bummies, B-U-M-M-I-S, those bibs are made in North America and they're really great. And then as far as what to eat out of, each of my kids has one of these. It's the Inno Baby stainless steel bus tray. I'll link a video where I talk more about it. Beautiful. Had this for five years with Finley, and we use these all the time for snacks still. They're awesome. And then for a high chair, instead of having like a big one that takes up space or is like a lot of plastic, we use the Inglesina, Inglesia, I can't remember, <laughs> uh, fast chair. I'll link a video. Hooks onto the table. Use this puppy forever. You wash it in the washing machine, it comes out looking brand new. So um, those are my ideas for feeding things. And then sleep is obviously another category. You need a safe place for your baby to sleep and it's up to you to decide what that looks like for you. But I recommend um, some kind of organic mattress to be part of that and organic bedding to be part of that. We personally use an organic mattress in her crib and an organic crib sheet. And I really like the Crib Critters brand. It's made in the USA and it's organic. Um, for PJs, I've really loved with both my kids the Under the Nile brand. It's made in Egypt. I'll talk a little bit more about it in a second. Their jammies last forever. They're so soft and durable and thick. and They're awesome. I also just found a new brand that I'm going to try called City Threads, which is all um, made in the USA, organic cotton. It looks really good. And then while I'm talking about jammies, I'm going to talk about clothes in the same time because... For my babies, both of them like pretty much lived in pajamas because they're comfortable and more specifically sleeping gowns, which is just like 
basically a little dress looking thing with like elastic at the bottom. Super easy to pull up, change your diaper, pull down, keeps them warm. I did not get my baby's dress very much. I don't see the point. They're home. But if you do want to buy them clothes for pictures or going out or sometimes you want to get them dressed or whatever, um, I definitely recommend purchasing clothes secondhand. That's as eco-friendly as it gets. And then some other brands that I really like that are really high quality. Um, American Apparel makes organic baby clothes that are really nice. Under the Nile, which I'm going to mention again. Um, and then again later is... Um, all fair trade, all organic cotton, all made in Egypt, and they do a lot to um, enrich the people's lives who make those. So I really, really like that brand. And then another one is Pact when they make baby clothes, but they also make adult organic clothes and the prices, there's all certified fair trade and all super affordable. It's really awesome. They actually have that stuff at Whole Foods if you have one, you can check it out. And as far as like what clothing pieces you need and how many, that's really gonna depend on your climate and your season or anything, but I would just recommend like starting low and then waiting and see what happens when the baby comes. And if you feel like you're short in onesies or short in pajamas or in anything else, then just pick up a couple and then they grow so fast. So just do laundry. If you're using cloth diapers, which I also am assuming you will because it's eco-friendly, then um, you know you can just toss them in even with your diapers or whatever. And then um, one hat is plenty, like per size, especially like newborns do need hats, even if it's summer, just for those like first, especially like the first 24 hours is really important to keep them warm. And then like, you know, when they're really little, it's good to have a, just even a thin cotton hat. And then like a few pairs of socks. That way, if they're wearing a onesie or like a sleeper that doesn't have feet or whatever, you know, keep them warm. So that's kind of like the clothes thing. And then also on that same note, the sleep gowns, um, there's a lot of organic brands out there, but there's some cool Etsy shops you should check out too. And then um, back to sleep, <laughs> um, I recommend getting some organic swaddles, just like a swaddle blanket, you know, is just like a really big thin blanket. This one is not an organic one, but this is muslin material and um, there's a diaper website called greenmountaindiapers.com and they've got a big organic swaddle blanket. It's around $7, which is a really nice deal for organic and swaddle blankets are amazing because you can use them to swaddle your baby. You can also use them as burp rags. So that's like two for one minimalism there. You can use them as changing mats, like toss them under your baby. You can change them on the go, at home, whatever on there. They're obviously great as a blanket swaddling or just putting on top of them in the stroller or car seat or anything. They're great for the nursing cover, so you don't have to buy like a separate nursing cover. If you want privacy, you don't have to. Um, then just, you know, you can toss it under, stick the baby under that. They're good for like so many different things. So I'd recommend getting like a good six of those, see if that's enough. And then if it's not, then pick up some more. And then one thing I can't show you because my daughter has that I really recommend is the Aiden and Anai um, organic four layer muslin blanket. It's This is an Aiden and I blanket. So it's like this, but it's um, four layers of it. And it's really breathable for the summer, but it's also like really nice and warm for the winter. Like we just use it all year round and don't put an infant with a blanket, but later when they're able to have blankets or if you're supervised and, you know, snuggling with them, it's a really nice blanket. It's good quality. It is made in China and I really wish it wasn't. That's the one thing, but I believe they try to do their things responsibly, but I would double check that before I purchased from them again, now that I'm a lot more focused on that. And then um, the last thing for sleep would be some kind of levy once they're old enough to introduce that. So like some kind of organic stuffed animal that doesn't have any um, like bead eyes or anything that they could chew off and choke on. And that's organic stuffing on the inside as well. So like Under the Nile, again, has ones that are 100% organic. Um, she has one, a couple of those that she loves. And then also um, Olives and Pickles is her favorite one. They don't have as many out right now, but I've, you know, we got ours on Amazon and they are around. So the next category I'll do is Mama category. You are hopefully going to breastfeed and I encourage you to do so or at least try. You can do it. Um, you'll need nipple cream. I love the Honest Company nipple balm. It was amazing. You'll need breast pads because they will, your boobs will leak for a while. Just get like organic cotton round ones. You just stick them in there, wash them, reuse them. Um, I don't need them anymore. At, now that Fiona's two, I don't leak anymore. So I didn't, I probably needed them for like maybe eight months or so. So definitely getting the reusable kind is um, a lot more eco-friendly. 
Um, you need a couple of nursing bras. I really like the Bravado nursing bras. I mean, if you don't know, a nursing bra like unhooks and then you can pull it down and it has a strap to keep it up. I don't know what their social practices are. I'm not sure if they're made very well. Again, I would like look into something that is. So um, I don't know if I'd recommend that now, but that's what I have and do like. I just am not sure about the company. And then um, you'll also need pads because <laughs> you bleed after you give birth. So um, if you're having a biological baby. Um, so I would say like 10 to 12 is good. I really, my favorite ones are the Mama Moon ones from Etsy. They're really nice and thick. Just rinse them out when you're done and wash them with your diapers. Next category, I'll just do um, toys. Babies do not need that many toys. Kids don't need that many toys. But um, here are a few brands that are very eco-friendly, very, social very socially responsible, and very high quality. Under the Nile, here are just like some little toys by them, 100% organic cotton. I really like Hoppe. Really nice line of wooden toys. I really like green toys. They have so many different things made out of recycled milk bottles in the USA. I'll link videos for all those brands below. And of course, books. Um, my Two of my favorite kind of series type books are the books by Sandra Boynton. Really nice cadence and easy to, write, to read. And I also really like the Llama Llama series. But, you know, there are so many good books out there. And two more categories left. Next one is like first aid, um, care, and whatnot. I really like the Honest Company shampoo and body wash. It also like makes a nice bubble bath. Awesome. Babies do not need lotion. You only need to put lotion on them if they are actually having dry skin, which I did not know until my second baby. But if your baby actually has dry skin sometimes and needs it, I really like the Honest Company lotion. Um, you need like a thermometer. We've got this temporal one that just goes like this. There's information on them not being super accurate, but they use this at my doctor's office, so I think it's accurate enough. <laughs> and then um, babies will get snotty and you need to get that snot out. Those nasal aspirators are disgusting. This is a nose Frida, a link a review about that. You need to clutch their nails. These are nail scissors that have a blunt edge so you don't accidentally poke them. I think that's worth it. <laughs> they squiggle and move when you try to like cut their fingernails. So um, you need something to cut their nails with. You can do baby clippers too, but clip I hate that sound. Um, with my son, I did not need a hairbrush. Even though he had like longer hair and we grew it out, it didn't need one. My daughter definitely has like tangly hair and she needs one. And I tried using like my comb, my brush, and it was really hard for her. They make bamboo brushes that... Um, are vegan like this isn't horse hair or anything it's just synthetic bristles and um for some reason this is really gentle on her head and she doesn't like get mad when i brush her hair with that and then you need a toothbrush um i can't remember what brand we're getting right now but they make a lot of like bamboo or phthalate bpa everything free plastic toothbrushes that you can use once they get teeth they you gotta brush them and then the last categories here are one's gear so you need a car seat um I don't know of like an organic one, so hopefully there's one on the market by now. Um, if you want a stroller, then you can put that on your registry. If you don't, I definitely recommend a carrier. Baby wearing is amazing. Um, my favorite for Fiona is the Tula. With Finley, we liked the Ergo, and that was great. They make an organic Ergo, which we actually have one now, and we're still using with Finley at almost five for hiking. Um, I'll link a video comparing those two, and when they're both of those you can buy an infant insert for, which are um, a little bit tricky to use with like a really tiny baby. So if you want to baby wear from the very beginning, they make like organic stretchy wraps that you can put on. A lot of different brands have them. Um, so that's something to look into. They don't use them for very long though, so I don't want to call it like a need, but um, it's an option. And then the last category is diapers. Obviously your baby needs diapers. I feel like if you watch my channel, you have seen me talk about diapers extensively. I have a newborn cloth diaper video that I'll link. And I also plan to make like a much more short, easy one um, to come. If you have any questions specifically about that, please ask me. I'm super happy to help. And the last thing to do with diapers, and that was all cloth diapers, um, is if you want a changing mat, you could buy one. If you don't, you could easily change them on a blanket on the floor. So um, that's what I think is a really comfortable and really simple way to raise babies and beyond. Like I said, we're still using everything I showed you. So it lasts for a long time. 
And if you um, have anything else to add to the list, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Any questions, comments, anything, um, any other really eco-friendly, social responsible brands you want to introduce us to, also welcome. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.